Today, we're ushering in a new year with a new type of alcoholic beverage. Hey guys, welcome to Cirrhosis Sommelier. An uneducated perspective on wines. I'm Jake. I'm Zach. This is Corbell? A dry California champagne. Yes. Extra dry. Yeah. Um, it's a liquid, so probably not that dry. No. It's going to be wet as liquids go, but dry as a liquid can be. Yes. Now, neither of us have ever opened a bottle of champagne no. before. And uh, we looked it up, and we learned how this is essentially a loaded gun. Yeah. Um, 80 injuries a year from flying corks. So we're a little stressed. Mm -hmm. A little stressed. It'll be worth it. Um, but for right now... Yeah. You know. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, real quick, Happy New Year. Happy New Year. If you were confused yes. what we were doing. Exactly. Champagne Welcome for to New Year's. almost 2019. Almost 2019. And it will be 2019 in just a few hours. Yeah. So, uh, you know, usher in the new year. Mm-hmm. Have some fun. With Drink little... responsibly. Of course, always. Yes. But enjoy yourselves. Mm-hmm. You don't so. want to catch the flagship illness of this show. Cirrhosis of the liver. So <laughs> All right, let's get into this. Let's get into it. Let's do it. Let's. Uh, we don't have beer education for this because it's oh, not yeah. a beer. Yes. So we can take a look at the bottle and how classy this this. It's a classy bottle. Nothing exceptional. With the gold trim, and the like cream gold colors. Trim. It looks. It looks like it would be fitting in a uh, a chilled ice bucket. Oh yes. You know, in a fancy restaurant. Things. Yeah. Oh yeah. It's very fitting. Now, uh, at the local Giant Eagle, this runs about seventeen ninety nine. For Corbell, so we're not we're not breaking the bank. We're not breaking. So the don't bank. don't even worry about it. Maybe we'll break the bank next year. Yeah. This year, yeah, yeah. Keep the bank intact. Well, thank you. Next year, there might be a scimitar on New Year's. There might be. Or a scimitar okay. would be awesome. Scimitar, yeah. Wow. So are we just getting right into opening it? Yeah, I mean, if you're ready to go, all right. Uh, we could put it off for longer if you want. Just make sure you don't point it at anybody. Make sure you hold it at a 45 degree angle. Well, after you twist it. Oh my god, I'm so stressed that it's going to feel like pressure. Oh god, I can feel it swelling. Okay, now you get a nice grip. I don't know that grip. Oh, there we go. Well, it's not any of the pressures. Oh. Well done! It's coming out. Well done! It, it popped a little louder than the guy in the video. A little bit. And it but hurt my hand a bit. Are you okay? That's a no, no, I'm good. It didn't like launch my hand. Okay. It just it scared the shit out of me. Alright. <laughs> the stress is over. That's successful. Success! Yeah. Okay. Well done. Well done. I deserve a sip though. No. We'll, we'll lug it back. This is, uh, by the way, 12% alcohol by volume. So, uh, Good we times. of course have champagne flutes to not get wasted on the show. Oh, yes. Yes. Um, you, well, you can pour the first glass. So, uh, since you, you did the others. It's so heavy compared to a beer bottle. Oh, look at that head. That was elegant. Oh, and it's, it's short lived. Dissipates. Oh. And then we'll just have our nice, classy. Glasses. You want to top it off, not top it no, off. No, no, don't top them off. Okay. Well, this is a classy a show. Yeah, you got to get where I'm at at least. Classy show. Put it right around the the level of the beginning of the casino. Broke out the the <laughs> casino <laughs> champagne flutes. Yes, from a casino that I believe has gone out of business. Oh, has it? I had, did not check. Well, I'm sorry to hear that, uh, Harris. Yeah, sorry, Harris. I just I've never heard of that casino before. So I assume it's. So like, I assume it's debunk. It's debunk or not very profitable. Yeah. But okay. Let's give it a sniff. Sniff, sniff. Smells kind of... Ooh. Mm. It actually smells kind of like a beer. It does smell vaguely beery. Yeah. That's it how smells I... like grapey, though. Which is, you know, understandable. Yeah, like real grapes, though. Not like grape soda eat grapes. Yes, no. This is no purple Ooh. drink. It smells like... Now, okay, never mind. It doesn't smell like beer at all. It's starting to smell like wine. Definitely wine. Okay. Well, I am ready. Let's give it a... Let's give it a I sip. need to calm my nerves with 12% alcohol. Ooh, it's actually really good. It's pretty good. That's good. Well, 
got a bit of a weird top end. It's very sweet. Yeah, it is sweet. Um, for a dry wine, very sweet. I can mm. almost, I can already feel the heartburn starting. Yeah. Um, mm. It's okay. I have almost no experience with champagne, by mm -hmm. the way. Oh, um, we're doing this like it's a beer, because we have yeah. plenty of experience with that. I'm surprised it's 12%, though. It doesn't feel it. It doesn't taste like 12%. But I don't know if that's... I feel like the grapes hide that stuff in the sparkling wine and wine department. Yeah, wine's one of those things where, like... I've always felt weird about it being such a high percentage. Because mm -hmm. it doesn't feel like it would be. You know? Oh, yeah. But yeah. Medieval Kings used to drink the shit out of this All thing. right. Well, wine or champagne? I think both. I think... No, I think it was wine, because I don't think they could carbonate... Oh, no, because champagne is yeast. They're carbonated with yeast, right? Yeah, you throw yeast and you leave it in a cave. And then it... it for like six months and, and it just builds pressure inside exactly. the bottle. That's and why you things, shoot your enemies with it. Why these things are so fucking thick? Yeah. It's got to protect. But uh, yeah, it's pretty good. Um, mm. It tastes yeah. sweet. So, um, yeah. while we're sipping on this, there's not a lot to talk about. Sure. Let's discuss all the progress that you've helped us make in this past year. Yes. Even though it has only been like four months. It's just thank you so much. A huge amount of progress. Roughly 35 beers reviewed. Yes. Um, huge. We've got a new set. New, new set. camera. Mm -hmm. We've increased production value just for you. Also yep. for us. We were kind of embarrassed before. But now... Yeah. Now... Now we're at a point where we're pretty proud of the product. Um, this this will actually be the first video you'll be getting yeah. from the new yeah, set. Yeah. So let us know what you think about the new, the new visuals, the new set. Yeah, all that stuff. We didn't really think about it up until right now, but this yeah. is essentially the official beginning of season two. Oh yeah, right now. Well, we're calling it season two. We're calling. We it might season revisit two. the name, but for now, it's season two. And season two will, I think, will go the entire year because we didn't really get a chance to do that. And then it'll probably go the whole year. Yeah, yeah probably 140 episodes. 140 episodes. That's a lot to look forward to. Yeah, at least 140. Yeah. Um, some exciting plans we do have for the new year. We're going to attempt to do some field trips. Yes. Field trips yeah. should be planned. Uh, hopefully, we, we're sitting at around, what, like almost 1,200? Uh, so I think, as of this moment, it is 1126. 1126, okay. Which is awesome. So, that's fantastic. More than I expected. Way yeah, more than at, we expected. At, at this point. Like, by three months yeah. in, I was mm, a couple hundred here and there, but wow, thank you. Hey, thank you very much. And, hopefully... That, that'll be enough so that we can swing our weight around a little bit and give breweries a call. Oh, yeah. And start getting some tours. We'll be recording those tours and hopefully recording an episode within that brewery on draft, which would be, be amazing. super exciting, especially since most breweries, at least in our area, have oh. specialty beers that are not available in bottles or in cans, but are available on draft at the brewery themselves. Mm -hmm. So there's a lot of things that I would like to cover that we would only be able to cover if we can get in. And I think we should be able to. So this year, yes. maybe in a, in a month or two, you know, we'll be looking forward to that. Um, We're going to do our best, at least, to get yes. them to you. We're going to do what we can. Um, I hope we can do it. Um, probably starting with the brew kettle. Shout out to the brew kettle. Fair warning if you watch this, brew kettle people. But uh, we'll probably be looking at you first. Yeah, Physically gonna... closest, mm -hmm. very small brewery. Yeah. And you make decent beer, as oh. we know. Well, currently, they are our number one yeah. beer. Kitka. We've only reviewed one beer from them, and it is number one. Oh yeah, so, so our rating scale. So mm. we, we could we need to congratulate Kitka from yes Kitka as being the number one beverage. Of, Congratulations of 2018. Kitka. Yeah, number one of Sarsaparilla 2018. Mm -hmm. You officially recognized. You should be drinking it if you haven't drank it before. Yes, you definitely should. You should be drinking it, especially um, if you like coconut. Runner up Guinness. Is it really number two still? Guinness is number two with 78 out of 100 as the official CS score. God, we really need to fix our scoring. We do, we do. Um, and then after Guinness, it's a two-way tie between Phobia and... Oh my gosh, what was it? Phobia and... Well, so Phobia for... and... Oh, uh, what's it called? It's Great Lakes. Um, Oh, Holy, Holy Moses. Moses, yeah. Yeah, Holy Moses so, and Phobia. Okay. So, Guinness, I feel like... So, Holy probably... Moses, the honorable mention. Then we got third place as... No, no, Holy Moses is tied with Phobia. They're the same oh, score. Okay, They're both so 75. We got two third places, then. Two third places. Same score. Phobia and Holy Moses. Yes. So, good good stuff from them. Good stuff for the top three. And we will be changing the CS score as of yeah. today. We're going to... We, we've decided that some of the categories are less important, like look and head... So we're gonna weight the scores a little bit. Yeah, think of it like um, a teacher scoring homework versus tests, yes. right? 
Uh, the way we have it set up, and it, it hasn't gone live yet, but um, in the next episode you'll be able to see the change. We might even make an extra video going through the changes. Yes, yeah. Um, but essentially, the first three categories of the head, the look, and the smell mm -hmm. are going to be worth 30% of the final score. And the last two categories, the mouthfeel and the taste, are going to be worth 70% of the beer score. Essentially weighting it so that, you know, the color, the taste, things like that are still taken into account. But really the most valuable and most important of our categories are mouthfeel and taste. That's what you're drinking the beer yeah. for. Yes. So that should make up majority. Because we do have a few beers that are way too high on the list. Because of they have such good part, like in look. Because look, taste, or no, taste is important. Look yeah. and smell. Well, Delirium Tremens in particular. Because yes. that looked cool in the glass and it uh, had a crazy head. But it was disgusting. So, But that pulled a 40 score right there. And then it got like a 2 and a 1 mm -hmm. in flavor and mouthfeel. It should be our worst beer, but right now it's in the middle of the pack. Because it's so, so gross. Exactly. Uh, which we may, we, we have some uh, hunches because we, we discussed with one of our family members they had it before and they said it was amazing. So we think we may have got a skunked bottle by chance. Yeah, it's very possible considering they don't have any sort of... um. Best Buy date or brewed date on yep. those particular bottles, there is a chance that it sat in our local Giant Eagle for possibly several years. Which would cause it to be skunked, I assume. Yeah, the beer does not get better with age. It's true, especially since it was stored upright, um, and that's a corked bottle. Yeah, so that's the why cork, it was so fucking pressurized. That's why it was so pressurized, but also the cork, when, when you store corked bottles, you have to keep the cork moist so it can breathe. Ah. So like wines, if you store wine improperly and you don't lay it on its side, the cork dries out and then there's no air in or out and it becomes acidified. Yeah, because when it, the pores on the cork expand when it gets exactly. wet because it... It's cork. Yeah. It's porous. Mm -hmm. So that's that's definitely, that might have been the issue. I'm not sure. But uh, um, we're probably going to try to revisit that at some point. Yeah. Possibly this year. Um, we're not really sure. It's, it don't, don't, you don't know, hold us to that. Yeah, don't hold your breath or anything. But yeah. We think we might give them another chance. Maybe we'll get another version. Yeah. Because uh, there are five versions of Delirium. Yeah. We just happen to do Delirium Shremens. And if that one have So what we'll do... Actually, that's a good idea. If we, we'll try another version on the Delirium. Yeah. And we'll try our best to get a, a more recent bottle. we get, like, yeah. Delirium Nocturne or something. Yes. So... And then we'll try that. And if that's good, if that tastes better, any much better, then we will revisit Tremens to get try and... Get a non skunk body if that is the case. Exactly. And if it's not the case, the score just, will stand. Yeah, it'll just be. Well, it'll stand with the new CS score. Yes. yes. When it gets, when it gets yes. uh, fixed. Revamped. So for the episode that's going up tomorrow uh -huh. on Tuesday, the new scores will be rolled out. Yeah. Um, so the lineup will change. Um, the top 25 is going to be different. I doubt that the top three or four. No. Those should be relatively Because the scores are all well-rounded. Exactly. That's why they're up there. Yeah, Guinness might drop a little bit, because Guinness did pull a 10 in color and head. Look yeah. Ahead. So those might drop a bit. Which, now that I think about it, the head wasn't all that excellent. Uh, well, it was so foamy. It was very, it was the creaminess of The it. creaminess, Oh yeah. my god, the creaminess of It wasn't of Guinness. size of head, it was quality of head for Guinness. And yes. I stand by that. I think it's extremely quality. Oh. Um, the nitrogen just does that. So we're going to have to get some more nitrogenated beers as well. Yeah, just to see. Like It'll nitro milk stout. We need to do nitro milk stout. We have nothing yet. I'm, I'm looking um, forward to it. I think next time we go out to buy beers, we need to hit Mystic Mama, mm -hmm. which comes straight from our Uncle Marty's recommendation. Again. His favorite beer, apparently. So yeah. we got to get that on immediately. We're kind of going through our Christmas gift beers mm -hmm. that people gave us. Yeah. But once we knock those out, we'll be moving on. We're going to hit Mystic Mama and nitro milk stout in the first, yep. the first uh, pickup we do. Good stuff. So expect that in a few okay, weeks. Well, is that is that all the news we got for that? Is that all the news? Um, I want. I believe so. I think that's about it. I believe so. Well, uh, that's about it. That's kind of the state of the channel. The Happy New Year episode, state of the channel. So let's top this off. We'll do a quick toast to 2018. Yes. Also for good faith in 2019. 2018, a good year for the channel, bad oh. year for the country. Yep. Let's not talk about politics. No, this is not a place. Happy for New Year. Happy New Year. And we'll see you next time. Farewell.